welcome to basic medical sciences in this video we are going to talk about vitamin b2 also known as riboflavin right as usual you know our usual table characteristics of vitamin b2 what are the active forms of vitamin b2 right the first one is flavin mononucleotide or fmn right this is number one the second one is flavin adenine dinucleotide or FAD, right? So these are the two active forms. What about the sources? Where do we really get this vitamin, right? The sources include meat, fish, eggs, milk, green vegetables, yeast, right? So from these foods is usually in form of flavoproteins right so for resorption the flavoproteins are cleaved into riboflavin in the intestines right what about transport transport in blood is usually via albumin and immunoglobulins okay let's talk about the functions of vitamin b2 right so uh, you need to know that FAD and FMN are cofactors for enzymes that are involved in redox reactions. What are redox reactions? These are reactions where both oxidation and reduction take place, right? So FAD and FMN, here they work as electron transporters, like they transfer electrons from one substance to another, right? So you need to know like uh, two main functions of this vitamin B2, right? The first one is succinate dehydrogenase, right? So succinate dehydrogenase is an enzyme which is found in tricarboxylic acid cycle or Krebs cycle, right? The second uh, place where this enzyme is found is uh, in electron transport chain, right? It's in that uh, electron transport chain is also known as complex 3 right it's known as complex 3 okay that's the first function right the second one is uh you need to know like in, in our body we have uh, a very important uh antioxidant it's a natural antioxidant called glutathione right so glutathione appears in two forms reduced form and oxidized form right so this one is the reduced form like with sulfhydryl group or SH group, right? And another form, which is oxidized form, looks like this. You can see disulfide bridges, right? Uh, so this one I said is oxidized form, right? So you need to remember there are some reactions in our bodies which releases free radicals, right? Free radicals are dangerous to our DNA, cell membranes, and enzymes right so this is what happens uh like uh free radicals for example o2 negative o2 negative is a uh, superoxide anion right it's converted to uh, hydrogen peroxide by uh, superoxide dismutase right so this hydrogen peroxide it have different pathways it can it can it can be uh uh, converted to harmless uh, components by catalase uh, but in this case I just want to talk about like uh, the role of a uh, glutathione right glutathione pathway right so what happens is this uh, hydrogen peroxide will react with the reduced form of glutathione to form uh, like the oxidized form Right, so this happens in the presence of a glutathione peroxidase. Glutathione peroxidase is an enzyme which mediates this pathway uh, and it will release water. Right, so now we have the oxidized form. Right, so we need to convert it back to reduced form so that the reaction, uh, like the cycle, can continue. Right, so we need something else. Like, so if you remember the hexose monophosphate shunt or pendose phosphate pathway, uh, it releases a, a very important component called NADPH, right? NADPH. This one is actually uh, 
in reduced form right this is reduced form so it reacts with this oxidized form of glutathione uh, releasing the oxidized form that's nadp positive this one is actually oxidized form right so this pathway this pathway is catalyzed by an enzyme known as glutathione reductase glutathione reductase why am i telling you this it's because uh fad or we can just say riboflavin uh, is a component of this enzyme glutathione reductase right so what are the two uh like the two functions once again right succinate dehydrogenase in tricarboxylic acid cycle and electron transport chain and it's also a component of glutathione reductase glutathione reductase okay let's talk about vitamin b2 deficiency right what causes this deficiency uh, uh in general malnutrition right uh other other causes include like some restricted diets for example uh vegan or lactose free right and also in the body like there can be increased demand right for example if the person is pregnant or during lactation right there can be increased demand for vitamin b2 right what are the clinical features now you need to uh okay i will just uh tell you like the uh, four features and then i will give you a mnemonic to remember the uh, most important ones right okay let's start right so the first feature is called corneal vascularization that's vascularization of the cornea right uh the second one is chelosis right chelosis uh this one is actually inflammation of lips uh scales like formation of scales like this one is scaling and fish fissures at the angles of the mouth this one is also known as angular they call it angular chelosis and magenta tongue right the other feature is normocytic normochromic anemia right because vitamin b2 has some specific roles in red blood cells uh that's for oxygen transport right uh, and the last one is seborrheic dermatitis right so you might not be able to remember all these features uh, but you can always remember the two c's of vitamin b2 deficiency right so you can see how i wrote it right so this one is for corneal vascularization and chelitis chelitis is same as chelosis right the same as chelosis thank you so much please make sure you subscribe like and just leave a comment in the comment section